Behold, I come like a thief. And blessed is he who stays awake and keeps his clothes, his garment with himself, that he may not go naked and be shamefully exposed. Meaning, meaning, all the other time, you are naked before the Lord. <laughs> wow. You, this church, I have come. It takes strength and courage to invite me. When you invite me, then I know for sure you really love the Lord. Because then the truth must be saved. And there must be substantive changes in the church. Real change. These notions, oh, revival. This week we have revival in our church. We have a preacher from America, a prophet from where? Ah, 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 that's something else. I am talking about the glorious kingdom of God. Those that come to entertain, that is something else. Sometimes they come to harvest the money. That also is something else. I'm talking about eternity with God. That's why I have come. For no other reason else. Only this I have come. Did you understand me? Because I was shocked that your worshippers are standing here naked. Naked here. With their legs here. Showing you their legs here. I said, what kind of balism is this? What kind of devil worship is going on here? Showing legs smeared here. I think it's long since I saw that. And I threw my head down. I said, Lord, don't destroy us here. Excuse me. I'm shocked. You went to buy the hair of the Indians. They give to their Indian gods. They cut their head there. They sell to the, to the black woman. You went to buy that hair to wear. Ah! Oh, my God is holy. He does not need lies. He likes you the way he created you. Ah. Ah. Why do you want to become somebody else? To live a lie. And you do not know the Hindus go to the temple to shave the head? And some Hindu men collect the hair and sell to the, uh, to the African and the black women? Ah. You did that here? Wow. I told you, I don't want to come here. I don't want to come. Hey! And nobody told you that the time has changed? Where? If you are going to worship Jehovah, oh, things are different here. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's why I come. Because I don't want nobody to like me. No. If you can love the Lord, then I will celebrate. Oh yes, but the truth be told. Postmodernism told you to go and buy somebody's hair and put in thy head so you may look like another person. And the Lord is looking for his daughter. He don't see his daughter. He's looking. Where is she? Ah! You're playing around with the Lord. But I have come. Now I have come. Now it's alright. Everything is going to change now. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Good morning, Trinidad y Tobago. <laughs> I was shocked. I put my head down. They are still lying. Can I read the Bible? Okay, Exodus 28, verses 1 to 4. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't come that you may love me. No, 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 nothing. Exodus 28, I'll read it here. <laughs> I bless the Lord. Oh, yes. Uh -uh. There's no way. Jehovah is holy. And really holy. And he doesn't care whether it's 2015. 